And there's the RV sitting in the park. You can see that's where you come in up there, one row. It's got room here for 40 trailers. One of the most important places in the park is right there. The dumpster. I like the dumpster, yes. And go up on the corner here. This is on the way over. I take a I'm out of my doorway and get down toward the dumpster. And then you walk over towards the bathhouse right there. Straight ahead. And you go for a little ways. And right there, the building right straight in front of us. That is the uh, community room, rec room. And the uh, door on the right is a uh, washroom, wash machine. This other building right behind that truck is where you can take a shower uh, and bathrooms, men and ladies. And back the other building, you got, big, you got a big screen TV in there. We'll go in there and show you what it looks like. This is the uh, place where you can do your wash. Got a sink there, table, fold your stuff up on, three washing machines, and uh, three dryers, and no table over here to fold up your laundry if you want. This here is in front of the uh, laundry room. Got a couple of chairs here you can set on. Not bad, you know, if you're doing your laundry, call your set. And it will go in the... Uh, it says RV Park Guests Only. That means me. If you're in the park, renting, and we'll go inside. This is as you go in. This is the uh, tennis court, racquetball, I guess, uh, basketball court. And right beyond that, you, know, you can see the rocks or not, but we got a really good sized parking lot after that. Right on the bottom corner, I'm going to get a picture of it. It's grassy, and when it rains, you can see where somebody's driven through there a couple of times, and man, it looks greasy. I can just see myself trying to drive the RV through there and getting stuck. See all these kind of plants down here, and behind it, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a real prickly things. That's some more right here. Some of them actually have some flowers on them. Right there. They're nasty looking things up close, I'll tell you that. Looks like my little water coming down through there yesterday. Rained like crazy last night. See the there's some oh the buds of flowers or what they are. But they're kinda of pretty. I like the needles all over them. I had a Regional park signs, first thing you see when you come to the park. They had some kind of a party plan, but it didn't come out too good because of all the rain, so they had to cancel. This is a park, parking lot. Goes into a trail in the back there. I don't know if you can see the signs. But get a bunch of signs in the back there at the other end of the parking lot. They graded this all off the other day, took them all afternoon. Had some dips back there, and they fixed that up. Then you Keep going down the road here. Got the sign there that says Castaville Regional Park. Uh, Stone Hall's real nice. Can't imagine doing the town to have to be able to do that. Yeah, it's pretty long too. Down the road there, 50, 60 yards, I don't know. <coughs> and the first building you can see here on the right. Is a swimming area. You can go in there and I don't know if you get a pay or what it is, but you go in there, it's locked up right now. But you go in there and they got a big area for, I guess, taking showers and changing and stuff. Up there on the right, right in here, they got a big flower garden, it's supposed to be a butterfly thing. And there is, every time I come by here, there's butterflies. You see that? Yellow one flying around there. And there's a bunch of different flowers and 
some kind of cactus stuff here. Nasty looking stuff. And there's a walkway here for the wheelchair and steps too. And that right there goes up to the water treatment, I think. There's a big pond up back there. I see it on the map, you know, on Google Maps. This is the water place we can go swimming. I'll show you the swimming pool in a second. That's the uh, park office right there. It's closed, and it is quite often. Seems like anyway. And you got all locked up here, all padlocked and bars hanging over here. And you start to see the swimming pool. I like those kind of trees. It's like something you see on Hawaii Five O TV show, you know. That sign over there is welcome. Uh, picnic table that costs five dollars. And over here is a nice swimming pool. People are up here swimming. The other morning I went to breakfast with a friend of mine, and people up here swimming seven o'clock in the morning. Somebody having fun with the horn behind me. You walk in the swimming pool up there area from the uh, shower room. And the other day they had a bunch of ropes across there from, you know, staying in lines if you're racing, I guess, type stuff. And across the swimming pool is a building to keep the swimming pool clean. I'll walk down the parking lot here as you're going into the park. <clears throat> Show you a couple signs. Here's some more fancy leaves. And you get those things there, they go up there a ways. You know, like I said, something you'd see on Hawaii 5 -0. Um You can see the um, trailer park down there, basketball court and stuff. And over here is some signs to where you would pay for your picnic tables. I don't know if you can see this sign here, but the guy says, let's see, this is pretty good. Well, anyway, the sign says, Big Mouse Bass caught in Medina River. It's right behind where I'm staying at Castleville Regional Park on 5-15-2013. It weighs 7.99 pounds, which is two-tenths of a pound off the weight record for the state of Texas. He received rewards for catch and release, uh, Texas Medina River record, and Texas Big Fish. That was pretty good. Of course, I got a sign here, caution, when you're hiking. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's a rattlesnake. Nasty things. I mean, here's where you pay for stuff, some of the pack rules, swim at your own risk and stuff. And we have a lot to offer, stuff they have here. Swimming pool, fishing, covered pavilions, picnic tables, playground, tennis, volleyball, soccer, bird watching, walking and talk, jogging. I saw at least three deer out here. Here's Dak out. But there's like three deer at least on the grass over here in front of the open section where they pack some RVs and they're all hookups. And where I am, pretty fortunate, 30 feet just across the road from my RV is a Wi Fi tower. So I got perfect reception of Wi Fi and it's in my whole RV, no matter which end of the RV I'm in. I can go in and lay down on the bed in a, with a tablet and uh, uh, have the RV, I can have the uh, tablet on, no matter which tablet I use. That's some of the foliage stuff they've got. There's actually green grass right there too. Everything was brown when we come down here because of the uh, no rain thing. I mean, that was inch. Uh, 
uh, big uh, cracks in the ground because it had been so dry. So there's a history of the park here. Here's an example. If you want to know what it is, just look up Casterville Regional Park in Texas, and they'll give you a whole thing on the history of it. This little thing here we're looking at, we just went around, is put up by the Eagle Scout Project uh, by Brian Strout, Troop 471. And we're going to keep going in the park. Now, if you want to, it's, uh, I don't know why it's closed today because it's Saturday, but usually that gate is open and you can drive the bicycle down around there. It would be all the way around that park right here. So you can get back over here and there's a uh, basketball court and stuff, swimming pool. And up there, on that little knoll right behind the swimming pool uh, cleaning machinery, there's a cemetery. I went up there and looked at it. It's pretty, pretty nice. You know, it wouldn't hurt to cut the grass in it, but it's pretty nice. Really, really old. <clears throat> you get down here, you have a trail right there on the right-hand side of the road. You can go down there a little ways, and there's a trail goes up into the woods. And you get these picnic tables here all over the place. And they're uh, cement. Really rugged. So you ain't going to be carving your name into them. Okay. <coughs> and over, uh, you can see they got a couple of, uh, if, if you can see them, there's a pavilion there type thing. Probably four picnic tables. Over there's another one, and down that way somewhere, they've got a uh, small auditorium type thing. You can get on stage and play music. You can rent it, and you, uh, everything here is for rent, I guess. And they got a bathroom over there. Now, if you look, let's see. I'm not sure how this is. I can't see real good in the back here, but looks like way up on top of the hill up there. There's a couple of big houses. Cause they got pretty good hills are all around here set to go behind me towards uh, Casterville. It starts getting kind of downhill. And there's a couple campers over here on the right. Uh, there's no trees there. I wish now I hadn't packed under a tree because you got all these stupid nuts in a tree. And man, I tell you, the scale of living daylight's out of you. What a racket they make when they come down on a tree. I mean, on the RV roof. I mean, it's not a very big tree over my head, but boy, they make a racket. The boss of the park, the ranger, he's got a heck of a big tree over here, so. I was talking to him one day, and he says it drives his Labrador dog crazy because they are really loud. So it sounds like somebody's dropping a three pound rock on the roof of your place. I need a place here for the kids. This is a different view of the tennis court. There's uh, one tennis court, and next to that's got basketball. And they had other stuff in here that says, I don't know what. But if you look at the other side, it goes way down that way, quite a ways. And there's got to be 15 acres here, about 20 acres, I guess, I don't know. And you can play. Uh, soccer down there. I don't know if they have football now. There's at least a soccer thing. They had a game or something going the other night. Right there's one of the towers for the Wi-Fi. They just put that in since I come down here. It says it's supposed to be all camp. It's supposed to stop here uh, to check in, which is basically what I did, sort of. I didn't quite come down this far. I didn't know if I could get turned around or not down here. See now, this is the first gate you go in, and uh, there's some, it says, Welcome to the Castable Regional Park, RV Park, rates, up to two people. This gives you 
all the rates. I don't know what heck you can see on here. I can't tell. Look at the screen, but anyway, that's where it is. So this is the first row you come down into. You got RVs on the left and right. You can, as you can see, mine and not. Mine's like a third one up from the end on the right. Kind of brown. Got a brown, a tan, uh, tan bumper. Got a brown stripe across the back of it there. And we go over here. This is the way I come in. It's way down there on the right, really narrow. I would hate to think I had to drive the RV down through there. And there's some more of the pack over there. Right in there is where I saw the deer last night. That's the pad I go in. You can go down this way. Just circles around. That's where I come in. So you can see the RVs. There's an empty spot right there, Irvin. But this is... This guy here's got one on the end, so he's got a place, actually extra, extra space, so he got a place for his truck there. We're in general, it's about how much space you got right here. You got room enough to pack your car in between and a uh, picnic table. That one over there, nice lady over there, met her. It's kind of hard to locate mine some days, so I just look for the pink Jeep. Real easy to find. Yes, 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 yes. Got a lot of junk on the ground. You'd think that the water was out here last night. It rained really hard, really hard last night. But anyway, that's it on the park, I guess. There's my stupid cage in the back that tried to come off on the way down here. That's my new bicycle I bought. I like it. Uh, 21 speed, 27 and a half inch frame. Front shifter don't work, so I gotta take that apart. It's only brand new, you know. It does have a disc brake on the front, though. Let's see if I can get that down. Yeah, there we go, right there. Disc brake. And that's my dolly. But that's the uh, dolly. And right behind it is the picnic table. And if you look to the left, there's a uh, push out on my neighbor's place and this is mine so I can walk between here I can push the picnic table up a little closer but once you get in the RV you don't it's really quiet where I am here so you don't really notice the neighbors because they're real quiet I mean, this guy over here he's gone right now you know my septic hooked up over here <clears throat> RVs I really like it got it so I can actually use the kitchen table now. I can use the couch. We didn't have it cleaned off before we moved down here. Okay, that shows you about what's going on over here. And back over there again in the distance you can see the bathroom, shower room stuff. And that's it. Oh yeah, I sure should end up the video, you know, in one of the best parts of the park. So we're back to the Jeep again, right? Well, right across the road is a tower. Ain't that nice. I got beautiful Wi-Fi 24-7. If I wake up at 2 o'clock in the morning, I can turn my phone on and do Wi-Fi. I'll put on the, the uh, tablet. Yeah, that's the best place in the park to me, boys, a dumpster, I think. I can fill a trash bucket up, tell the wife, hey, go empty the trash, you know. And she trots down here with the, with the trash, and it's all done. Well, that's all for today. Good night, folks.